Alrighty. Uh, JD teachers have been popping off right this thing over there. Cool, so, cause I usually do these teacher videos on Friday. There's gonna be a del gonna be a delay on these, so, yeah. We're not gonna be doing them back to back over here because I want there to be time for teachers and all that. Each one of them have their own little, little day in the sun, so to speak, but yeah. We got something that I didn't really think uh, I would be interested in. JD over here, that being the Far Eastern Republic, the American Soviet Republic, whichever one it is. But yeah, they're gonna get some interesting stuff over here. They, uh, if you don't know the lore about this one, in uh, the JD lore, Bogdanov unites up to Russia, but then the Pan Asian this for like, you know, take over this, and they did. Yes, yeah, so Japan uh, owns these, uh, but the Far Eastern Republic is a bit more autonomous over here. And we're gonna get into that one a bit more later. But yeah, we got uh, some very interesting things over here in the Far Eastern Republic. I feel mainly shit that I didn't really think uh, I would be too into over here because I didn't really think they do. I just considered them to be like a puppet shit over here. I didn't really think that there would be much to them, but. Uh, sorry. Thanks for the best spot. But, with, uh, with JDT popping up over here, I gotta say, though, I'm very much. Uh, very much, I'm thinking that uh, there's gonna be a lot more stuff into like this little demo thing that might be over here. Cause I think so over here. I definitely do plan. I already got like some. I already got like three uh, series that I have over here planned. Or oh. well, two, maybe, depending on uh, if one of them's in there in the demo or not. But as I was saying, <laughs> yeah. But to the far eastern republic over here, we got some very interesting things over here. See, yeah, this is basically what remains of the Reds, uh, the last remnants of the Reds over here. That's not that not, that weren't in like, you know, Kavkaz and all that. Under Kinrich, Kinrich, Rick Lyushkov. Over here we got the various government leaders: Trukov, Georgi Stetsev, Stetsevich, Maxim Livinov, Ed Edward Bierzin, and Walter Kavitsky over here. I recognize like about like one of them over here. That being a Vesely Trukov. Oh, yeah, and over here for the generals and marshals. I can't really read what the rest of it says. But yeah, this is the Trukov over here, and I see me in Bladen over here, and I do not recognize those two. Yeah, before we get on to the event over here, that basically, you know, like, get things going over here for Fox Republic. Yeah, little national spirits over here, and by the way, props to the artist whoever made this over here. I don't know if it's the same guy. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy over here. I heard something happen over here with the artist. But, um, just see uh, whoever made this art, whoever made this art though, and these icons and the focus, national stuff, all that. Fucking nice over here. I see the bug enough over here. I wonder if they can come back. Well, from what I've read over here from Laura, the part right over here, since, uh, the, since Japan took over his art to Russia, those that. Those that uh, weren't killed fled to either the Union of the North or Brazil. Over here, so I don't know if there would be any Bogdanov remnants over here. But, we just see over here, actually. Give me a quick moment. Ah, hit the wrong button. I'd love to say something real quick. <coughs> anyway, I'm going collectivization. Uh, it's not too bad over here. Construction speed, though, definitely going to be over here. Consumer good is probably going to be a over here, but besides that, it's not too bad. It is not the case that in order to create true socialism, in order to usher in a worker's paradise, the law occupied by the wealthy and crowd must be ripped from their hands and thrown to the kind adoptive arms of the state. Well, this flower then we've been made collectivization seem like an intelligent moral policy. This cannot be farther from the truth. The collectivization efforts in the Far East can only be described as the cost of failure, with it being unpopular with citizens, immensely difficult to enforce and complete during the state's limited resources. Perhaps we should do some net first before we actually do collectivization. Anyway. The tail ship the hidden mush over here. A little crown over here. Of the Kaiser, the red Kaiser. I wonder if there's gonna be some there's gonna be like any red monarchies going on over here. That would be interesting to see over here. I don't know why red monarchies are so fascinating to me. <laughs> anyway, here's the heated marshal. Uh Spillian Wars pool definitely not that great over here, so that's mass fifteen. Yes, that's minus fifteen stability and war support over here. Mm, definitely not great. Canst thou, or partial sleep, give thy repose to the wet sea boy in the hour so rude? And in the calmest and most serious night, with all applications and means to boot, deny it to a king, then happy low lie down. Uneasy lies that heads that wears the crown. 
No problem. Kimrick, you need me to Kushkov, maybe the rule of a mer, but this is interesting basic here. Like Yuri of Moscow, he says in invading power, and while it may benefit him and the state, it certainly doesn't help his citizens. Lush the Ushkov is painfully aware of this in his time of power and as his time of power progresses, his paranoia and recruitness only grow. Yes. Yeah. Cause you know. He doesn't get all popular because assuming that we were an independent state over here. Before Japan invaded. Question legitimacy over here, so that's minus there's a PP over here, that's minus seventy PP over here, so that's off. It's like you still saw like with like two or three. I can't remember. I can't remember how PP start off with. Whenever you whenever you build up a nation over here, that's like minus one over here. That definitely gonna be a. I know this PP is definitely a drain because that means you gotta wait longer to actually know enact shit. You know, get people in power. Well, and like your governments and ideas and companies and all that. Well, we may be the heirs to Marx, Lenin, and Kimmy. This is far from the truth. We are the lab down to talk here and act as such. A population world of ideological theorists surrounding us denounces an evil collaboration and long to expose from any position. Even more warrantly, the regional Soviets and military began to turn against us, leaving us alone and friendless. Yeah, increasingly hostile world. So yeah. A war isn't anything uh a war is actually, you know, stable, as it were. A lot of people hate the fact that we're basically Japan's lapdogs in the far east over here. While well, spreading the virtues of socialism over here, we're Bumbling around over here and not really making any progress about it. But over here, the big thing that happens over here for the MSC Republic is the Kushkov and Levendiv died over here. So that's Maxim Levendiv. That's a struck the Republic today. Approximately 46 minutes that are taken off from Karbarovsk for negotiating the level stock. The Kushkov plane suffered an injured problem crash near the banks of Amur. All aboard, including Marshal Lushkov, people's commissar, former their friend Maxim Levendiv, and the immediate aides and bodyguards have died. Some pray the cast be marked off as Silly Ivan. I mean, over Chuikov, the points of the head of the Far Eastern Central Military Commission in his state. Due to the sudden departure of the Marshal, the complex reputation his recent party reorganization program was put to halt. A Marshal will be carried across the entire nation in the of society. Both Chuikov and Jap in the Japanese had quickly denied any involvement in the Marshal's death, but alas, they had done very little to the issue. With both sides accusing each other of manipulating the instances of his power, however, things may subside as all sides remember a very consequential leader for several days in the state of funeral. Tragic, but we need our lands back. Indeed. Yeah, so he said that he did in the living all over here. Also, be dead. But we got things over where we're at. So now, should we cough take it over here? And if I remember correctly, soon I don't know who, there, there are certain pa other paths over here besides should we cough over here. I remember uh, they only teach one of them, but I remember being uh, uh, Alex Alexi Kasigan, if I remember correctly. I wish I was Kasigan. I remember I remember the name Kasigan over here, but I think it was Alexi Kasigan. If I if I know my Kasigan, if I know if it's that Kasigan, yeah, he's uh gonna be I think in like the progressive path over here. If I'm more correctly, I don't know any other paths for the Far Eastern Republic over here, but very least though I know of Kasigan, he's gonna be the other one over here. That's about all. That's about all the information we have over here for any other path over here. But uh, it's interesting over here. Interesting over here, and the Fighting Republic over here. If Japan's victorious in the Greek Eurasian War over here, so yeah, uh, the nation can be a uh, fucking pretty, uh, pretty expensive over here on the territory of Japan wins over here. Of course, though, because of our size over here and reliance on the pen over here, we get some interesting things going on over here. The Battle of Leminski Island. Marshal Shurikov and the Central Military Commission have, no, no, have been notified constantly of a serious bullshit that has been going on for so weeks on the city of poorest and controversial border and been drawn a decade ago between the Japanese client's client commune in Manchuria and our young republic, a place where the border was quite unclear when Zenbao or Leminski Island in the, in the middle. Currently, the Chinese Japanese so soviet to be stationed there in an uneasy atmosphere. And given a quasi friendly fist fight between two groups of soldiers, but soon degrading into a stick fight until a soldier of an unknown nationally opened fire to his life or turned into a firefight. Our forces were able to, with artillery support and some armored vehicles, capture most of the islands initially until the Japanese used bombers and airstrikes to disperse the troops outside. Diplomats frankly tried to open dialogue with their respective opponents and a shaky steam room sign, which all parties reached up the conflict and collected dead. In the game, 117 of our, 107 of our men. 246 Chinese and 89 Japanese men have lost their lives. All for seemingly nothing. 
But this is the current social of the conclusion of war in Asia and the death of my martial tension tends Tensions between the public and the two regimes involved have never been high, however. Or is Hashani waiting for the other to make the first move towards a peace and towards something worse? Choosing like several awards made swords with medals for bravery doing get those that we call those re regrettable recognitions. The more conflict everything collapses. So yeah. Post victory for Japan in the Great Great Re in the region War. Over here though, tensions between uh, the three aren't exactly uh, aren't exactly great over here. Sure, they may be all part of the same faction over here, but they need to, you know, friends. I'm kind of like the Warsaw Pack in our timeline over here. But yeah, I think this shows you that uh, things ain't going too good, and this will all culminate into a big, big thing for the Far East people over here. But the Japanese make the move. It seems that the Japanese have made the first move with the pressure to a regime. See if our public at blank this morning, blank Japanese jet, blank and blank escort, blank. We spotted over the blank heading northwest, northeast from Manchuria. At the first time, the Marshal of the Party members evacuated the blank. While air traffic control attempted communication with the bombers, but it was on the rail. Our planes and air guns managed to shoot down blank of their blanks and blank of their blank, but the Japanese bomber was able to stop, was able to drop the pill under a cow, destroying a myriad of point buildings and military bears and killing blank civilians, blank soldiers, and blank party members. And blank members of the Central Committee. It is like the pure bloodthirst and blame imperialism. Marshal Truth got us signed head over to the Japanese consul to the Japanese consul that in Kabarasa declaration of a state of war affect him now. It's my Japanese sword civilian value of us against Martinez pogrom and lynching against a population who are still present in the city and hoping for a peaceful handover. The actions have made the aim of the war clear. We will destroy Japanese expansionism in the region and forever liberate our people of the evil stuck in the far east from Tokyo's boots to victory. See so, ya. Yeah. Now we have the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic over here. As we break off from Japan's grip over here because of lingering the the ling the lingerist of tensions are going on. So yeah. The Far East from Pog ain't exactly, you know, great as it were. Well they're not in a great position over here starting off over here, but they can though if the Japanese win, break free and bring back the USSR. Yes, you can bear at the USSR over here. Which is interesting over here. I didn't think. I thought they were, they were only going to be strictly over here, but. They will be the only Soviet power. Even over here. In that case, over here. France will basically also. Depends on what deal with. The, uh, the USSR over here. Of course, so I don't know the likelihood of Japan winning the Eurasian War. Um, so it's gonna be a decent chance, maybe theoretically. Who knows? But the very least, uh, we got a whole lot of things going on over here. A whole lot of things going on over here. I'm very interested to see how um things are gonna be over here. I wonder if I'm, this is gonna be like anything for like 60s content when that comes over here because I can't see um them going to war like uh, them going to war with like you know. Lee Soleil or like a Soleil, like Wrath Unification over here. It seems like TNO stuff over here, maybe. They're not in like a devastating state, TNO, though. There's, they're, they're gonna be dealing with great Scythia at the very least, Scythian ideology over here, but. Mm, you'll see over here, I'm just spitballing on what the capital over here, but. Definitely probably would do a playthrough of this, actually. Definitely is up to the card. I didn't really bother with them. I don't really bother with them unless something interesting over here happens, like this. Because I don't really care for like puppet states, to be honest. But with this though, over here, it seems like it would be an interesting journey to go from just like this small little province to taking over Yakutia and the Kuts to breaking free from Japan and going against Rizithia to be from the USSR. I think that would be an interesting journey to partake in. Of course, I think this is going to be in like the demo over here. You might see that skeleton content. It's probably all going to be like a lot of skeleton content until uh, the full game comes out. Well, not the full game, the full mod, full release comes out over here. But I am uh, curious to see uh, your guys' thoughts about all this over here. Very much into um, what you've been thinking about this over here. I think it's going to be a fascinating little thing to do. Whenever we get the chance to favorite content over here, maybe some other stuff I might do before that, but 
If there's a possibility whenever GD comes out over here, with GD teachers going off, popping up all over the place over here recently, and by the time violence comes, there's usually going to be like a week delay for it. But I very much am into. No guys, that's. But uh, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever you've seen here. So yeah, I'll see you guys on whatever next next is going on over here. Ow. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully this be those that JD is gonna be able to get their demo out the door over here. Very much, I mean, to us uh, seeing the, the, what's to come when they will here. Because uh, I'm probably gonna do a little off-camera games over here just to you know to see what's in store and you know familiarize myself with uh, how things work over here in JD. So until then, I'll see y'all later.